If you're trying to create your own custom site code free, look no further than Better Mode. We're going to look at the key features, the pricing, and how to get started today. First of all, Better Mode allows you to create all different types of sites. So it's important to note what are you trying to create? Are you trying to create your own client portal? Are you trying to have a social network, a support community for your business or brand or a knowledge base? What are you trying to do? In the comment section down below, what are you trying to do with your new business? Or is it an existing business that you're trying to scale and need a site like Better Mode for? Now, as we scroll down, we can see the different kind of customizations to just start with for Better Mode. And depending on what you're looking for, you can have a lot of different options that fit your brand. If we look at the features, this is important to note because there are a lot of features that automatically are baked into better mode that can help you move very quickly. For example, private messaging, public or private groups. So that way you can have one group for ones that are just interested or just finding out about your brand or a more uh, private group that you can have different discussions, those kind of things. If you look at explore all features, that allows you to have a full breakdown of all the different types of templates and features that you can have for your site. So again, because there's so many different things you could be doing, I would write down what's important for your brand. What do you need? For example, if you have a job board, maybe you have a brand where you're showcasing something like Ikea. And then you're looking for, you can have a job board where people can put together Ikea furniture in your local community. If you're looking at a change log, maybe if you're launching a new SaaS, a software as a service, and you want people to know about all the new changes or iterations that you have, you can have that built in right there. Or product updates, same exact thing. You can be announcing new product updates and new features for your audience. So again, write down what are you trying to accomplish and what kind of features are you looking for? Not only that, you can add other things such as gamification, badges and leaderboards, all a plug and play in your site today. Now, after looking at a couple different things, and we'll go into the design studio in just a couple moments, what I like to do is look at the templates because sometimes I get overwhelmed by looking at all the different options. I just wanna say, if we look at the templates, we can look at maybe examples of something that aligns with your brand. A few things to look at, like the, the prod guide. So interactive product discovery in deal space. I would have loved to have this, especially when I first started my channel, because I've reviewed so many different platforms. If I had that, I could direct people to a site like this so they could get more information. Not only that, could they see reviews, see what's going on with the different products I've I've uh, talked about, but then I could probably put affiliate links. So then if they're interested and they click it, then I could have all of my information in all one place and, and then go from there. In fact, as I'm looking at this, maybe I should do that. Let me, in the, let me know in the comment section down below. Could I create something like this where it tracks all the products and reviews that I've done in the past on one website, or should I just keep everything on YouTube? Let me know. See, that's just one example of the different templates that you could be using for your brand. Another one, job finder, dynamic job board and memory di member directory. I could see this being used not only if you're in a very specific niche, maybe uh, RevOps or BizOps, I could create my very own uh, job, jobs that I've already curated to uh, promote. But not only that, I, I would think about maybe having a maybe a tier list where I would do some jobs for free and then I would have some component where I would charge to get premium jobs that just on the job market or something like that. That's one way you could be looking at this. You could have this as a freemium model. So many different ideas using these templates. Then another one, educational networking and uh, career hub. So if we look at that, again, now we have a directory of different ones events, a section where you can introduce yourself, and then a component of job listings right here. And then you can filter them, all of those things. And then we have a global search as well at the top. So 
looking at the templates and looking at the key features, this really allows you to think about, is this right for me? What kind of site can I create for my brand? And remember, it's all about value. If I'm picking a theme or certain features, how is this helping my audience or helping my customers? Next up, let's take a look at price. To begin, you can start for free. Now, this comes with the Better Mode domain. You have the Better Mode badge. You can have up to 10 members and five spaces. So this really allows you to get started, test a lot of different things, and have a small amount of people to get started with. So it's ideal for hobbyists and individuals exploring web app creation. Makes a lot of sense. So that helps you with your branding, get started, get some feedback of what you're doing. And then you can go into the Light or Pro. Now, Light allows you to have unlimited members for $19 a month. That's if you're paying yearly. It's $24 if you're paying monthly. We'll stay on the yearly prices as we go through this, but $19 a month, you get a custom domain, up to 10 spaces, three collaborators, and five gigs of storage. So again, this allows you to really go into this slowly and ramp up, but unlimited members, if you're having like say for instance a payment portal or you do stripe for people to pay for a annual membership and then redirect them on paper uh on better mode you could do something like that so i'm just thinking about if i am looking for paid members how would i go through the process of this so that's why i'm thinking about stripe connecting that charging members and then making this profitable but even if i'm doing this as a free community i can get more people to sign up, unlimited members, and then later on figure out how am I going to charge? Maybe I'm going to have this community to lead into affiliates. So if they're interested and they find something on my site, they can support the brand doing that. If this is a community where you're supporting a brand, this, this helps you as well. Again, you're gathering everyone on a really good platform for them to have a good experience. If I'm looking at 10 spaces, if we look at that, spaces are customizable pages within that where members can interact with unique content, layouts, and collections. And we'll look at that a little bit later. With the collaborators, that's where you can have special roles, admins, moderators, all those things. And that really helps, especially as you're scaling, you might need a moderator in different channels. And then if we look at Pro, what's the difference? You get more spaces, more collaborators, more storage, and two translation locale okay so that works as well so allowing it says language options for your app allowing members and guests to select their preferred language that's really good so if you're going more international or you're appealing to different groups different languages that's when you can go from pro but what i would really focus on is i can start for free today get everything in place start working with the format that i like getting feedback from a small group even before I go into the light or pro. And then if we're looking at businesses, uh, the, the, uh, the business plan, which is $99 a month, that's where we're basically adding more spaces to 30 spaces, 100 uh, gigs of storage, one more language, and then priorities support. So this really helps you on wherever you are in your business or your idea, you can get started with better mode today. Now, after looking at the key features, the templates, and looking at the pricing, it's important to get started, right? You can get started for free, and let's go into the platform and take a look at creating a new platform, what that would look like, and then an example of one of our sites. So once you log in, you're taken to your main dashboard, and on the left-hand side, you can see your sites, which are found in the middle, or you can browse the templates. Now, we already browsed a few different templates or talked about them, but here you can get started quickly by just um, starting with a template. Um, you can click it, and then from there, you can see what it would include, and then you can use that template. That's one option that you can do. You can also start from scratch, and once you're starting from scratch, it will give you the basic building blocks of your site, but really, then you can start building. Now. This is what you have right here for the blank of the site. You can start breaking down section by section and building this if you would like. Um, but again, 
it gives you the framework and really you're starting from ground zero. For me, I like using a, uh, I like using a template so I can just see everything and, and now tweak it depending on what I need. Let's go back to my main account or my main section first in the dashboard, and then we'll continue in one second. Okay, so we're back at the dashboard. I'm in my account. I see the different sites. I've reviewed looking at my sites and then browsing templates. Let's take a look at my site that I created. Now, this is called for a new project that we're working on called Pocket Empire, where you can learn how to have a profitable side hustle based on your skill. Here we have our site, Pocket Empire, where you can build your own profitable side hustle. I have the main section right here. So start building your profitable side hustle. Follow simple steps to get up and running. Get started where I can have them go to a very specific section of the site if I want to. And then down below, I have my articles and SOPs, ask for help, shows and podcasts, and then my tools. So if I click right here where it says articles and SOPs, now this is taken to another section of my site where you can be seeing different articles that relate to how you can create your own business. So solve for complex onboarding, paving a path to value your customers. I have right here, introducing Pocket Empire, your ultimate resource for a part-time for part-time entrepreneurship. We have the different, it's an article right here. It's marked for beginners. People can write down their thoughts or just comment right there. And again, I formatted it based on what I'm looking for for my brand. I have another section, ask business or tech questions to build your own pocket empire. So here you could see, got a question, you can add a question, you can review it, all of those different things. So that's just a preview of what you could be doing. But how is this all brought together? How can I format it correctly? Well, if I go to the icon for my profile and then I go to administration, so I'm going back to my admin. Now, what I'm taking to uh, for my site, I'm going to be able to control what really the format. So let's go step by step of what we have here. Let's take a look at how we can edit our site that we just created. On the left-hand side, this gives us the major areas or, or the sections of how we can manage or design the site. For example, people, that allows us to see our different members, our staff, invitations to our community or our site. Then we have content where we have the posts, the spaces, the tags. Then we have the design studio, where we're going to be able to really design the look and feel of the different pages and the spaces. We'll come back to that in more detail in a second. We have the appearance where we can change out the logos, the themes, so that way we can change out what our color uh, scheme is, everything like that, typography. So the look and feel of the site, we get all right here. Next, we have the settings of the site. So we can do the authentication, the moderation, uh, the SEO portion of all of these things. We can do that in the settings. We have billing. We have reports to be able to really gauge what's going on in the community, what's happening, what can we, you know, what's working, what's not working. Uh, we get an overview and then we get reach and engagement, what's going on with the people, posts, what's engaging, spaces, what are people joining or participating in. And then we have edit logs and email logs. So it really allows us to really understand what's going on at a high level at, for our, our site. Then we have the app store. So just imagine the app store, you can have different applications that you can integrate with uh, better mode. So think about what are you looking to have? Maybe you're doing more advanced things with HubSpot, or maybe you want different messages uh, from Slack. And that way, when something's happening in the community, you can trigger things to happen with Slack, all those different things for your team. I would really focus on what, what kind of applications are you using right now? And then look at this. Then you can look at add-ons, different things that you can have for your own site if you want. 
and then you can filter by what plan you're on which i really like as well so if we're on light we can see what's available and then all the way up to business so let's talk about the design of what we did right so we had the logo we added all those things pocket empire uh, we had a certain color scheme all those different things we added all those things but then here in the design studio we're able to decide on the different collections and what it's going to really look like. So if you look at this real quick, we have on the side, we have main resources. I wanted articles, ask for help, tools, and shows and podcasts. Depending on our format, we can change the collection. We can change all of those things of what it's going to be looking like. And that's why I encourage if we look at the different templates here and we're looking at the different versions, see what's appealing for you. And this gives you a good basis of how do you want to stack or align your page that is enticing for your audience. Depending on what's going on for your industry or who you're serving, the formats can change drastically. The Even the color schemes, all those things are going to give it its own personality for your brand. That's what's most important. So Better Mode allows you to change all of those things. For us, when we were looking at it, we were thinking about we wanted more of a landing page for the first page, and we want them to then discover and go into different articles, uh, discover uh, asking questions, and then being able to interact with our media. That was the process of what we were thinking about with Pocket Empire. And we were able to do that with Better Mode, by thinking out first, writing down what do we need for our brand, and then executing that using better mode. In the comment section down below, what feature or template do you like? What do you plan on using this for? And if you're using another platform such as WordPress or others, why are you needing to switch? Is it a feature you're looking for? What pain point are you trying to address by using something like Better Mode. If you like more videos about Better Mode or about a certain feature, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. We do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.